Hey everyone, this is Will and Desiree, and this is Will and Desiree's Rise Mushroom Coffee. 30 plus day journey now. <laughs> As is days 28 through 30. Today is 31. Sunday was 28. Uh, so, today was the first day of getting back onto Rise in a week. Because we've been waiting, and then we got the package, and we... It's been a week, so we got it back on, and it just felt like it would be good to have it today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we wanted to experiment with what a gap would look like, mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of see how, so, how that would go. I noticed while we were off of it that my stomach settled even more. When I was, most of the time, I was having solid-ish, soft poops, but not liquid poops. So, good, good kind. And I did notice there was a couple of times where I was getting a little bit more discomfort than I was, but it wasn't, still wasn't like, oh, really bad. It was just, eh, that doesn't feel the greatest. <laughs> but... One of the things that I am noticing today is that mental focus feels like it had gone down a little bit, but then after having the dose today, it helped mental focus to come back uh, to an even higher thing. It wasn't like, oh, I lost everything. It was just, you know, it was just lower than it had been. So it feels like that having the single dose today helped to bring that back up. Yeah. But that was after not having it for weeks, so. <laughs> really not too bad. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any comments on your anxiety? Anxiety has been all over the place, but that's also because we dug into some crap in therapy and it, it's kind of, it's, trauma can be unexpected. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to unpack it and resolve it. Yeah. So this last week has been rough. Uh, <laughs> so it's a, it's a little hard to know how rice yeah. may or may not have affected anxiety. All right. How about blood sugar? Okay. Blood sugar. I was bad and had a couple of like gorging <laughs> days on like cookies. But my blood sugar did go up to 296 for one day um but then the next morning and after drinking some water it was back down to like 221 and i had wasn't able to go on my walks the last couple days because it's been raining and it's not rain <laughs> yesterday was all rain and today was basically like sleety snowy wet snow <laughs> yeah so yeah but i did some exercises today and or this evening so we'll see where it goes but again it was able it was the thing the takeaway though is that it came from 296 at one point down to 220 within about 12 hours so that's still uh it can that means that the blood sugar is able to drop and that that means more that it's I need I'm at a point where it's okay if I can get my diet in better and not have as many flings with stuff then it can come down even more mm -hmm. so but the rise did seem to be helping when you stopped taking your blood sugar meds. oh yeah I've been off I've been off metformin and the other thing for like two weeks now mm -hmm. so I didn't need metformin and stuff to bring the blood sugar down. Mm -hmm. Whatever the rise did, it made it. It's made and is making my body able to process the blood sugar. Mm -hmm. So it, it seems that rise has a similar effect that of equal power to the metformin and <laughs> other medicine he was taking. I would <clears throat> dare say probably better. Fair enough. Because I mean, it's actually making it come down, whereas I was doing double doses of metformin plus the other one, 
And it still wasn't to, doing me down like this. To limited effect. That's true. Plus, metformin gives you belly trubs. Metformin is known to give people diarrhea and stuff. And, and, and significant, strong, consistent diarrhea. So, even yeah. if this is equal to that in terms of being able to get my body to process blood sugar, it still has the added benefit of it helps. It also helps the gut. It doesn't hurt the gut. <laughs> Take that, metformin. Eh, metformin's needed in some cases, but... That's true. I do not think that it is needed anymore in my case from these two-week results. So we'll continue to monitor it, and I'll try and do better and not eat as many cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I just, that night was just, I wasn't really good, and I needed, just kept on like... Yeah. <laughs> I just could not get satisfied that night, and I was like, okay... Drinking stuff, my belly was full. I'm like, okay, I have to stop now. But I had already eaten like 10 cookies <laughs> and other stuff. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> but that part's on me. The, but, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, for me, um, changes in doses of rice seem to be accompanied by some constipation, so that may be forthcoming in the next couple of days as we settle back into having rice, although we might do rice every other day or something. Mm -hmm. But if you remember um, when we first started taking it, it was a pretty quick start go to constipation for you. Mm -hmm. And then again, we took it when we did two doses a day and there was that change. It was like, like the next day that you were feeling mm -hmm. the constipation again. So, so being off it for a week and having it today, I would venture a guess that your system tomorrow will start showing signs. So we shall see. And I, I, I will report. Um, for anxiety, I did kind of notice that my relatively well-controlled anxiety while using rice did kind of start slipping back into the old normal, um, including kind of having an anxiety crash around about sunset, um, where the tempo of the day seems to go up, the stress and things of things I need to do seems to, you know, be up and more stressful, but also the sun going down. So all of those things kind of hit together. While taking rise regularly, it wasn't a problem, but I did see that start to return after a few days of without rise. Mm -hmm. Mental clarity yeah. hasn't really been bad, so it's it's been fine. Mm -hmm. That's what I have to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, let's see real quick here. For the stress relief, that was the reishi. Mm-hmm. And for energy, cordyceps, lion's mane, focus, king trumpet, fights, oxidative stress, shiitake for immune support, and turkey tail for healthy digestion. I bought some king's trumpet, also known as king oyster. Or, yeah, king oyster, right? We're pretty sure they're the same thing. Mm -hmm. If they're not, somebody tell us so that we can <laughs> correct ourselves. <laughs> Preliminary research said that they're said that there was they were the same thing just different names but things can be wrong on the internet so <laughs> but yeah bought some king oyster and some shiitake for immune support so uh, we want to try cooking with those more and see what happens with that mm -hmm. so i get to make a cool stir fry tomorrow and see how that goes if you do end up cooking the, the king oyster or trying them everyone i would make them into small bits because they're kind of hard to chew but they're good so the <laughs> first the first time i cooked them i cut the mushrooms in half lengthwise and then like seared them and then cooked them into the stir fry. So the mushroom pieces were long. three, four inches long and a good inch and a half to two wide. Um, so you'd have to bite pieces, but it turned out that biting into it to try and, you know, get it to <laughs> separate didn't work very well. 
So the recommendation is to cut it into bite-sized pieces as you're preparing it to cook because then it will be easier to eat. <laughs> yeah, they, do, they have a, a nice, a, they absorb flavor well mm -hmm. and they actually kind of do have like kind of a meaty kind of thing to them. Yeah. But they are rubbery. So well, like they, they tend to have kind of a rubbery-ish texture that you can bite through but if it's a big piece it's it's hard to it's, do it. it's not easy to do so yeah. making them into bits would be easier mm -hmm. but that's what we're going to try so <laughs> <laughs> yep anyway. should be good well let's weigh in see where i'm at right now what's changed what's not 328 <laughs> So that has not changed. I'm consistent, but inconsistent at the same time. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah. Anyway, well, we've talked your ear off long enough. So thank you for watching. If you wouldn't mind liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and sharing this with others, and leaving us some fun comments. That would be nice. So, but thanks again, and I hope you guys are all having a good night. I'll see you t next time.